Hi guys, uh, today we are looking at how you would measure your neck relief uh, and how you might go about adjusting that as well. So first things first, get your guitar to pitch, get it perfectly in tune, Absolutely. otherwise you, you, you're wasting your time. Yeah, and also on the bench like this, um, it's fairly accurate, okay? Yeah. Um, some heavier guitars might put a little bit of weight on it and it could change the relief. But, sure. But to such a small degree, you should be okay. Should be okay. okay. So just to clarify, that's that's the weight of the body um, sort of pushing down on that and it, it just, just sort of bending up very, yeah, very slightly. but slight. it would be so, so slight, okay? okay but, you know, if um, you want to be highly, highly accurate, yeah. you ideally do it in the playing position, but it does become rather tricky. Okay, okay so you'd sort of pick it up and, and kind of have it have it sort of like this. Absolutely. Okay, so there's Which no we way. might do anyway, because it might be easier to show the... the yeah, here. absolutely. Okay, sure so we'll, we'll, to... we'll have a look at both angles. Okay, so an easy way of measuring the neck relief yep. is a capo on the first fret. Okay. And fret the last fret. Sure. Okay. Okay. So and what, I guess obviously what, you, what you've done here is you essentially got a straight line, you've got the string yeah. going from the first fret to, uh, the, sort of, I guess in this case, the 21st fret. First fret, fret yeah. So you've got a straight edge. Okay. And what you will then be able to measure is that curvature of the fretboard and the neck underneath of course, it. Okay? Of course, of course, because you've got the, the string straight, the neck's slightly curved, and we're measuring the, yeah. the sort of the deepest point of that curve, is that? Yeah, well we measure neck relief and it's commonly sort of uh, written at the seventh or the ninth fret. Okay. okay. If you can imagine the F being mm -hmm. played there, but around this point is where the string is vibrating. Okay, of course, because okay. it's, it's sort of halfway and in between. What exactly, and, and so measuring at the seventh fret is where you need that neck relief to accommodate that, that, that elliptical pattern of string of vibrating. Sure, physical okay. space for it, exactly. to, for it to move. Okay. So we've got some feeler gauges. Okay. okay. Now these are in thousandths of an inch. Okay, so let's have a look at the feeler gauge for, for those that don't know. So this is just a very, very sort of precision measuring tool. And these um, come in like 26 blades, you can get them from Machine Mart or online. Sure. Um, and if you just turn that sideways, so, so they're, they're very, very slim and they have the measurement of, of what they sort of are on top, if I can get that in front. So that's 14 thousandths of an inch, which is just slightly heavier than a B string, thicker than a B string. Okay. Okay, Perfect. being 13 on this guitar. Yeah, I see. So, fret the last note, okay, 21st, 22nd fret. Yep, I see. And very carefully, you want to measure your neck relief by placing the feeler gauge under the string and over the fret. Okay, so they're in the little gap there. And you want to try your best to not move that string. If you are moving the string, like, like so, then it could be that the feeler gauge is too much, so therefore the relief is less. Sure, I okay? see. But be accurate, you know, try it a few times like we have done, just get that feeler gauge nicely underneath there. I see. So this neck has 14 thousandths of an inch neck relief. Okay, okay. Okay, now factory specs would put this US strap yep. with this gauge of string at about 8 thousandths of an inch, between eight and say 12 thousandths of an inch. Okay. So, so this isn't actually a million miles off. Yeah. Okay, it's a little on the high side. Okay. So you could go ahead and adjust this. Sure. Okay. okay. Now, as it has relief, yeah, we want to tighten the truss rod. Okay. So you want to, you want to tighten the truss rod so it pulls against the string and goes more straight. Kind of yes, okay. absolutely. This style of guitar will have an Allen key truss yeah. rod. Okay. So let's just take a look at that. So, and this is at the top end, right at the headstock end. Right at the headstock end, you can see the hole there for the Allen key. Um, there's many, many different sort of shapes, and, well, shapes obviously, but sizes. Yeah, of different sizes. Key. And also where your guitar has come from, where it originates, yeah. does influence that, okay? So sure. this will be an imperial sized Allen key, okay? Of course, because it's, it's a US guitar. It's US, yeah. um, the Squires or um, Japanese Fenders could mm -hmm. be different too, okay? Yeah. They may be metric, um, but a set of Allen keys, okay, imperial mm -hmm. or metric, very easy to get hold of again. Yeah, absolutely. Some, some guitar manufacturers uh, will supply these in your guitar cases. Sure, okay. yeah. Or in your little, in little sort of, you know, the little bag, goodie bag, yeah, goodie yeah. bag exactly. <laughs> um, so it's worth checking that out because you'll know it will fit right. Sure. Okay. Okay. So as this guitar is in relief, yeah. we're going to put the truss, truss rod key, the Allen key in there, and we're going to tighten the truss rod. 
Okay. Okay, so righty tighty. Absolutely, lefty loosey, <laughs> right? Perfect. Um, you want to go in very small increments. Okay. Okay. And every time you tighten the truss rod, yep. you're essentially you know, you're straightening the neck. Okay. And you will be pulling those strings slightly sharp. Sure. Okay. okay. Yep. Because the tension is, is more across yep. the, the, the body and neck of the guitar. You're effectively so slightly increasing the distance, aren't you? Because it's straightening Just ever so slightly. The tiniest little Okay. Amount. But you'll notice when you come to retune, okay, mm -hmm. but it, if you've made an adjustment, yeah. um, tightened it, mm -hmm. it, you'll see a slight sharpness on the strings. Because it's, they're pulled slightly tighter. Yeah. Okay. And, and definitely tune down and tune back up to pitch. Sure. And then you can remeasure. Okay, so after every adjustment that you make, reaching. Absolutely. Perfect, okay. And you, you touched on it just a bit then. Um, it's important, many people may not know this, I know that I didn't know this for, for quite a long time, but the best thing to do is to tune down below the note and back up. We'll, we'll Absolutely. cover that in more detail in our, in our tuning video, but that is that is very important. So tune down, then tune back up to the note. So with the, um, yeah, with every little adjustment. And when you say that you want to make a sort of small adjustment, how small are we talking? Are we talking half well, a turn, quarter of a turn, or? W I, I like to use the, like a clock face as a, as yeah, a good analogy. Sure. Go from 10 to 12. Okay. okay. If you have a lot of relief, so a lot mm -hmm. more than 14, so yeah. double that. Okay. One, you'll be able to see that because you'll see a, a, quite a curve in the neck, sure. right? But. Um, that that would mean you could go from ten to two. Okay, fair enough. Okay. So I guess yeah. But but going going yes, but going from ten to twelve is just a very gentle way of straightening the neck. Okay, fair enough. Okay. So and also sort of it gives you a, a starting point too. Sure, and you've got to absolutely know where you've gone, where you've gone to. Yeah. Um, just to be clear here, so we're talking about fourteen thousandths of an inch mm -hmm. uh, of, of neck relief here. So the ideal you said was between eight and twelve. Yep. So so even to the middle of that, we're talking less than half the width of an E string. Sure. Between what it's on and what mm -hmm. it needs to be. So these are really fine margins. Super yeah. fine. Bear in mind, as we've already touched upon, but that, that's gaining some tension across the neck. But yep. also, the neck is straightening. Okay. So okay. this nut height, okay, yep. where it's leading off, is actually coming down slightly. Sure. Which will improve the string height okay to the fretboard okay okay so just in the neck relief alone yeah you'll be improving the uh the string height okay, okay? we will look at action height later yeah but when you're getting into the realms of setting up we always start with the neck relief okay. and that adjustment first sure because it, because of the sort of knock-on effect that's right it. okay so um, with the, just to quickly go back to this, this tuning thing and how important it is, when you straighten the neck, you're, you're sharpening the strings, you're increasing the tension on the strings, which, but in the process you're also obviously straightening the neck. When you then tune these down, you mm -hmm. reduce the tension on the strings, the truss rod wins a little bit more, so you, you're, you're sort of almost straightening it Yeah, twice, which is why you always, you know, if, if you just went and adjusted your truss rod yeah. a couple of times, say, yeah. and didn't adjust, and didn't change your tune. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, when you did finally get to that pitch, your neck might even be straighter. Straight, absolutely. And I think that's where commonly people might make a mistake. Sure, Just yeah. in not doing that. So okay. then suddenly the neck's gone from a bit of relief yeah. to way too straight. Yeah, and absolutely. Quite quickly, and then, then it becomes a little worrying. Absolutely, and, and as, as I, you know, I keep saying, the, the difference between perfect and way too straight, you, you're literally talking the width of the E string between absolutely. the lower end of the... From of zero to 10, from Zero instance. to 10, absolutely. Yeah. Zero yeah. Is, is you're gonna choke out, you know, you know it's not gonna bring out, and 10 is, is perfect, and that is literally the, literally the width of this string. So, yep. great, I think that's, that's pretty much us for now. We will move on to actually adjusting, making some adjustments, and we can show you guys, uh, you know, how much difference this kind of thing makes. See you then.